Hey everybody, welcome back. Alright. So we're out in the open here, and we obviously don't want to be. Uh, but looks like we're going to have another zombie to fight here. This axe is about to break. I should really switch my weapon out right now. I'm going to get rid of the axe. Let's see how this bat does. Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Alright, oh, there's a fire axe. I'm going to go ahead and take that and equip it immediately. Go ahead and do a little more dismemberment here just in case. I'm not seeing anything, alright. Uh, so somebody told me in the comments that uh, when you make the doses using the different tissue parts that you can apparently make stronger versions of them using a workbench, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, but again, I don't have any plans of settling down into a, a type of base just yet. So if we come across one, we could take advantage of that, obviously. Uh, take that real quick. Make sure we take this zombie out before we look at this inventory again. Oh, there's another one. And another. Okay. Make sure we're not getting flanked. There we go. Alright, let's look around. So far, it seems okay. I wonder if those birds draw the attention of the zombies. Oh, that's helpful. Let's see. Uh, really don't need any of those things. And there is another Ruger 22 in a magazine. Disassemble that. Take that magazine there. Right. Okay, so let's look at the map real quick. Still want to investigate what I assume is just a massive parking lot of sorts here. Uh, and really hoping no alarms go off here, but it seems like we could potentially find some useful stuff. At least I'm hoping. It is going to be getting dark soon, so I want to try to do this quickly, if at all possible. Let's go ahead and eat this spam here. And toss the empty tin. Uh, we'll definitely take the shotgun ammunition. Uh, pass on that. I really feel like it's... Ooh, another machete. Uh-oh, are we out of space here? Oh, we are. Uh, Alright, okay, well... Here's what we'll do. This low durability on that hammer, so I'll just replace these. And I'm gonna skip that magazine. Uh, let me go ahead and drink this. Yeah, no, it just seems pretty labor-intensive, uh, dismembering all the zombies. Another, uh, comment had informed me that, uh, there's a chance that those tissues will be present when you just search the bodies, and that dismembering them, I guess, gives you an extra small chance if you didn't find anything. Something along those lines, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I'd love to search every single one of these vehicles, but like I said, it's getting dark, and... Let's go ahead and take that. And I would rather find some place to hide indoors. But I'm not seeing any buildings here. So I think I might head north, uh, north, northeast, kind of. Hope that there's something up in that direction. I mean, we can wander around at night with our flashlight, and that's fine. I'd rather not. Oh, I did not mean to pour that out. That's not good. Uh, let's see. Oh, I can just drink it off the ground, apparently. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, so this wasn't even the parking lot, was it? No, we apparently hadn't even hit that yet. Okay. So some of these cars could work, but again, you're just drawing so much attention when you're driving a car around, but maybe it could be useful. This is some kind of mutated creature here. Hoping to find something useful. Let's dismember it. Oh, man, I'm not seeing anything off that one. Oh, we're getting a lot of attention here. This is not ideal. And of course, the, the, the sounds of, of battle obviously have to be drawing even more zombies this way. Looks like that is the case. There's another one of these mutant things. Alright, what about this guy and then another one? Oh, man. Uh-oh. 
took some damage there. Alright, let's turn on the old flashlight. Might as well at this point. Okay, uh, I'll take the painkillers. I'm just going to dismember a couple of these here. Right, nothing we're looking for. We might as well try one of these vehicles. That's what I'm thinking. Let's dismember. There's a C battery for some reason. Oh, I think he, he might have been the one with the light on his uh, helmet or, or hat, or whatever it was. It's a blood bag. Just not seeing the tissues that we want. Oh, did our copper dagger break? I wasn't even paying attention. Uh, same thing here. Okay, let's see if we can get a working vehicle here. Um, let me search first. There's a AAA battery. Yeah, the transmission is pretty destroyed. So that's not going to happen. Uh, this has all kinds of problems. Yeah, that... Technically, that transmission isn't completely destroyed yet, but I would not want to be driving that vehicle. Really wouldn't. Now, what do we got here? The engine is in really bad shape. Obviously not good. Something around here has got to be, not that, has got to be in driving condition. Something. And then, of course, when we do find one that is in driving condition, it'll be out of fuel. <laughs> so, we, we really got to hope for the best here. I don't know, even if we just... Okay, so now this is what we're talking about. Now, I don't know if it has any fuel, but this is this is doable. It doesn't have fuel. That is a shame right there, because that would be great. Uh, technically, might work. Yeah, it might. But it doesn't have fuel either. Yeah, again, I'm just going to give us a shot. Yeah. I didn't... I wasn't sure if the fuel gauge would work only once you turned the cars on. I don't think that's the case. Oh man, this thing is just... Oh, they're in such terrible condition here. Alright. Alright, I'm just going to try these two, I guess, and then we're going to get out of here. Inspect it. So this... Oh, the battery's almost dead. That's, all these are out of fuel, man. I guess I should be carrying around uh, a fuel can, but uh, I wasn't expecting to be using a car anytime soon. Now, what is this perimeter fence around right here? I don't see anything on the map. Is my flashlight? Oh. I didn't realize it had been turned off. So wall up that way. We can go through here. Oh, yeah. The, the battery, I believe, is dead. And there's some zombies over here. Uh-oh. They probably spotted me, is what I'm guessing. And I'm thinking with the flashlight, I'm going to have to, like, unload the, the dead batteries first. So I need a little bit of time. That's why I'm trying to get into this corner. Uh, okay. Unequip that. Uh, remove battery. Remove battery, because there were two. So, yeah, that there's no charge in that one. And there is charge there. Not Okay, those were the bad ones. So there's one C battery, and don't we have more? Yeah, we do. Re-equip that. There we go. Yeah, we're uh, we're gonna be dealing with these zombies very soon. There we go. There's more than I thought, probably. Uh oh. What was that guy up there? Oh, so one just went past me. Where are you going? What is this guy? He's just covered in in metal. I think we can handle this, but I do want to get to these trees eventually. That one's walking off. He might just be pathfinding. No, he's walking off, even though I've got this bright light shining here. Another copper dagger. Alright. Okay, so. Let me just walk into these trees if I can. And then look at the map. I guess we're gonna... I really... Oh, we're... oh, no. I really wish you could hear the zombies approaching better. Especially when you're looking at your inventory or your map or something like that. That would be nice. There's some plant mutated tissue. So, 
We need to sleep somewhere is why I'm trying to find a building. I'm actually going to start sprinting here because we're letting the night get away. I don't want to sleep all the way through the day if I can help it. There's something going on over there. Alright. Oh man, this is not looking good. I'm not seeing any signs of anything. I wonder how safe it would be to just throw the sleeping bag down out here in the woods. It's probably a horrible idea, but I think I'm going to need to do it if I could get through these trees. I I don't know. I really don't know, but let's just do this in the name of science. Rest till daybreak. Please don't let us get attacked. So far, so good. Okay, now it's raining. Okay, so I got the sleeping bag. We're going to have to deal with being wet and hypothermic here eventually. I'm going to try and make my... Yeah, it's already kicking in. Alright. Alright, so there's some infected over there. I still think I need the flashlight right now because it's fairly dark. I want to just get down to this road. Hoping the, the trees are blocking the line of sight sufficiently. Okay, I think we can turn that off now. Okay. I th think we got away from those guys? I think. Well, there might be... Oh, there's somebody. Oh, man, he's moving, too. He is really fast. Alright, check the map real quick. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this one's definitely in hot pursuit. don't want to spend time out here in the rain. We gotta start sprinting again here. I mean, we could... Well, not this car, but in, if we could get into that car, we could just go in there to escape the rain, but we're already cold, so we have to find a way to warm up, and I don't think sitting in the car would do that. As far as I know, I mean, the best thing you can do is make a fire. Speaking of, I'm gonna to want to have the materials for that. So we need four rocks and four wood. Alright. Rocks. I don't know, I don't think we have any wood, so I'm gonna have to chop some tree action here. Let's do that. It's making noise, yes, but again, we're in the middle of a thunderstorm here, so I don't, I don't know that it's that big of a deal. Three wood. Yeah, four. Okay, so once we do get somewhere, we can make a fire. And we're actually not hypothermic anymore. I guess, I don't know why. Maybe because of, there's a bear. Maybe because of all the exertion? Possibly? And there's a blaster. I think this bear... Here, there's no way that bear can, can see me, right? He might be after the blaster. No, he's not after the blaster. That's great. And I need to go this way, too. Again, I'm hoping the sound of the storm is going to cover the shotgun blast here. I should possibly get that bear's attention, though, which is not good. I would love to check the remains here, but I don't want to wait for the acid to dissipate. I want to keep moving. That might be a different bear. Ooh, okay. Oh! He snuck right up on me. This guy is going to break through the fence here relatively soon, I think. Unless I keep him moving, then he's going to keep hitting different parts of the fence. Take him much longer to break it. I don't... Where are we? Okay, we're, we're coming up a con, uh, upon... We're coming up upon some kind of... Uh, some kind of urban area here, so hopefully we can find a place to get in and out of the rain, even though, again, miraculously, right now, we're not hypothermic. It must be because of the sprinting and the, and the exertion. Alright, let's try to get through here. Oh, man, we've got, we've got some company here. We're going to have to handle this. Oh, cleaved them. Got them both with one hit. Absolutely love that. Hmm. 
Not very good. Uh, I know we're probably going to get attacked, but it's okay. We can dismember him. What is this? Contaminated water. That doesn't help. I would get immediately inside, like I said, but we don't seem to be hypothermic, so it's all good. Okay, I know that quote. That's from one of the uh, Night of the Living Dead films. One of them. Alright. I think we're clear. We might as well see what's going on here. There's that door. I just want to make sure this place is empty. It's not. We got some deer. I'm going to trap them in here. We got them both with that one swing. Got to love that. Ooh, well, let's go ahead and break this. Oh, we don't have to break it. It's already open. Another painkiller. Break that one, but it doesn't matter. Bandage. Alright. Um... I'm just curious how much meat you get from the deer. Is it four? Okay. Animal fur. I don't know. Our inventory's getting pretty packed. Otherwise, I would just be picking up essentially random stuff in case I need it later, but I don't think I have that luxury right now. Uh, that's not bad. Can we wear this as well? Yes, we can. Okay. Let's drink this soda. that. Let's get rid of this water bottle as well. Now, I, I take it like these sinks, the taps don't work. I'm guessing that's what's going on. Otherwise, I would assume there'd be an option to, like, refill empty containers or something like that. Of course, I do not know for sure. Okay. Nothing there. Uh-oh, somebody's trying to break in. Where are they at? Sounds like they're coming from the west over here, maybe? Oh, this axe is about to break. Yeah, let's switch over to the machete here. Oh, they're trying to break the door down. Whoa! And it, <laughs> the door exploded in my face. Wonderful. Now, what do we have here? Winchester bolt-action rifle. Now, that's attractive. That's attractive. What? I hope there's nobody else about to attack us. That's going to be bad. Um, for, okay, let me... Let me see here. Did that move the can to this inventory? It did. Alright, I'm going to move some of this stuff back here. And honestly, I'm going to get rid of this extended stock. And what I would like to do... Uh, again... Let's take this. Okay, that's not going to fit, unfortunately. Let's move this to the ground. Uh, let me hit sort. Maybe that'll do it. No. Okay, so that's going to be an issue. Alright, I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff. I'm going to eat this. Okay. And then back over here. Let's sort again. Let's move this like this. Let's see if this does it. There we go. Okay. Um, I think we'll be alright going back out into the rain. Like I said, we seem to be handling the temperature issues with a plum. So, why don't we just keep going here? And what do we have down here? Oh, well, we've certainly got some company this way. No, oh, those are spitters. That's not going to be good. Is there, that one's still alive. It is a triple barrel shotgun. Still alive. Oh, he managed to spit. Okay. Alright. Oh, there we go. Mutant nervous tissue. Another C cell battery. Let's search the other body here. Uh, ooh, a gas mask. Give me that. Okay. Yeah, sometimes during the storms, the, the frames start to drop a little bit. It's... Obviously something that'll be fixed through optimization in the future. We're still really early here in the game, but in case you're wondering, like, is it? Is that? Is it kind of slowing down the frame right there? Yeah, it is. Alright, well, it actually looks like we might be able to find some decent stuff in here, I'm hoping, anyway. Hmm. 
<laughs> so far, no good. But this is what I was looking at and hoping there'd be more like it. I see like a skillet or a frying pan there. Okay, always going to take bandages and painkillers, obviously. Gun rack. All right. Yeah, what is that? 7.62 rifle silence. We don't really need that right now, do we? A short handle butt for a shotgun. Now, I wonder... Let me look real quick. The simple workbench needs eight wood, two rock, and one stone hammer. One stone hammer. I wonder... So they're talking about this particular one right here. Rope, three rocks, and wood. I mean, we can... We might try to do this. We might just try to set up here at least temporarily. Um, we don't need to make a fire. So let's move the wood here. And where are the rocks at? Those are pellets, sugar. <laughs> I'm not seeing the rocks. Where are they? There they are. And then I know we have ropes somewhere. There it is. All right, make me a stone hammer. Now, of course, finding places for it in our inventory, that's going to be the issue. Let's see. I'm going to get rid of... I gotta, I gotta move. So, I gotta do something about this inventory, man. This is nuts. Uh, let's do this. Let's put these on the ground. Sort again. Move these over. Okay, so we got that hammer. And then we need eight wood and two rocks. So we currently have. We need one more rock and five more wood. And the rain has stopped, which is great. Now, hopefully we don't draw a lot of attention over here doing this, but we probably will. This is really beating my machete up pretty badly, but what else are we going to do at this point? Alright, one, two, three, four, five. Just what we needed. Then we need one more rock. I think you can get rocks from any of these mineral nodes. Oh, there's one right there. Okay. That works for me. Alright, back into here for the moment. Close that door. Alright. Build. Simple workbench. Build that. Let's put it right here. And start build. Wood is taken care of. Rock's taken care of. Stone hammer. There we go. Alright. So, I'm hoping we'll see the doses here. Uh, oh man, bombs, landmines. There's a grindstone. You can use that to repair weapons. That seems like something I really need to make at some point. Lots of traps. Ooh, a grapple. Oh man, I'm not seeing dosage stuff. Unfortunately, that's... I don't see it. Alright, it may be a different... Um, See something else here? A garbage grinder. That's interesting. Oh, let's see. One shop shelf. Yeah, I don't I don't know exactly what we need to do for that. So here's what we're gonna try to do anyway. Is see if we can make any of these right now. And you need so much. You know what? I haven't been picking up that mutant tissue, have I? I've been thinking that it was rotten meat. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I haven't been picking this stuff up. Oh man. Uh, I don't know why I thought that was rotten meat. I know what rotten meat looks like. What am I doing, man? Ugh, okay. Alright, so... I wish I could make a note on the map. I don't know that I can. I don't think I can. But I would love to make a note to say, here's your workbench right here. Alright, that's fine. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stray too far from here. I'm gonna try to find some bodies. I know there's some over here. That's just blood, apparently. Yeah, right. Uh, so let's go ahead and dismember here. Let's do that again. Yeah, see, I thought this was <laughs> rotten meat. I'm such an idiot, man. Can't believe it. Dismember this. Uh, okay. nothing we can use there. Alright, 
dismember. And there's some more mutant tissue. A molly, some 5.56 five, ammo. I'm going to take that. And some rope as well. There's some more tissue. Okay. Let's go ahead and keep harvesting. To use a delicate term. Uh, 762 ammo and a Ruger. Revival Ruger rifle, and that's okay. School bag. That's an arrow and some shoes. Alright. So, how much of the tissue? We only have nine. We need at least 20, maybe 30. I can't remember the exact number now. Well, we're going to remember where that workbench is, but we don't need the workbench to, to make these doses, so I'm trying to see if I forgot any bodies. There's one way over there, but that's alright. I'll go ahead and turn on the flashlight here. I thought I saw... I thought this was a structure over here. But it is not. Hopefully there will be something nearby regardless. Look at the map here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because as it gets dark, again, I, I would much rather sleep inside. And nothing. Alright, we've got company. Okay. Dismember, dismember. There's some more mutant tissue. Very good. I was really hoping there would be a building right here. Is that, uh, that's a electrical tower. Okay, there, there's something. Alright, I'm walking. I'm not crouch walking, but I am hoping that walking will be quiet enough. Looks like this fence wraps around, does it? Well, not all the way. There's somebody inside this place, that's for sure. This trash out of the way. Pick lock. Uh, is there another way in? I think there's a window over here. Figure the window will be a less noisy alternative, but oh man. We're gonna be making noise. Better believe it. Can't access the window. Let me move this pot, see if that makes a difference. It does. Okay. Close that window. Alright, so this is where we're going to end this episode. Thank you, as always, for hanging out, everybody. I appreciate it. Please hit like and subscribe if you'd like to, and I will see you all next time.